Welcome back to another Thursday's Get The Look. For today's makeup look, I was inspired to do um, or to recreate Martha Stewart's 10 minute morning beauty routine. This is the makeup look that she shared with Allure. And I'm just gonna show you guys really quick uh, a clip of the makeup look. Um, let me just fast forward in the video. But um, you can definitely find it on YouTube. I'll go ahead and post the link below in case you guys want to see it. Um, but this is pretty much the look. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But basically, it's a very, very simple, easy, very luminous makeup look. And as I was watching the interview, I noticed that she's very, very heavy on skincare and um, a lot of serums are definitely incorporated into her skincare which I love because right now I've been all about skincare my skin has not been the best right now but we will get into my skincare routine and problematic issues for another video but for today I was really really inspired to recreate her look just because I love Martha Stewart she is pretty damn awesome and then on top of that her best friend is Snoop Dogg, hello. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, this is the makeup look that I'll be recreating. Again, I'll post the video below in case you guys wanna see it for yourselves. And she's really, really cool and like really laid back. Like I learned so much about her and just, you know, she just, she seems like a really cool <laughs> person to hang out with. Um, but anyways, that is the look that I'll be recreating today. And if you guys wanna see how it turns out, then feel free to keep watching. Like I said, my skin has been in sucky, sucky, suck mode lately, and it just got some issues going on. But um, for my skincare, um, I definitely will be using, and for the most part, almost always do use sunscreen. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch sunscreen and it's got 100 plus SPF can't get better than 100 plus so I'm gonna be using that and then I'm also gonna be using my CeraVe this is the um, SA cream for rough and bumpy skin and it does have three essential ceramides which is great because I definitely need that exfoliation and also I've been looking for a moisturizer okay so sunscreen CeraVe and then, um, oh, of course, because my lippy lips definitely need some love too. So I haven't decided if I want to use my Milani Keep It Smooth, my Memonet, <laughs> this one right here. Woo, I butchered that so bad. Or my current. Favy Faves. This is the Rose Overnight Lip Mask by ColourPop Cosmetics. Um, so yeah, I haven't decided which one I'll use, but um, I'll make up my mind very soon. And then also, a couple serums that I'm going to be using, just because I feel like it goes pretty fast in the video. This right here I got um, as a sample, and it's the Life Changing Skin Care. It's the Rodin and Fields Moisture Attracting Younger Acting active hydration serum right here so i'm gonna be trying that for my serum and okay guys so first thing first things first is some sunscreen so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna apply my neutrogena 100 plus spf on my face because it's so important to make sure we are protecting our skin from the sun as we know, or some of us know, it can be very harmful. But um, part of the reason why I have a lot of damage to my skin is because I neglected sunscreen at times, which is a big no-no. Um, and then right now I'm using CeraVe moisturization. Um, I use this on my face, my neck, my body. It's pretty great for textured skin. Um, it does have 
different acids in here, so that's going to help exfoliate and help renew the skin's surface. And um, it's got long-lasting hydration too, so and no fragrance, FYI, for those of us who are sensitive or just don't like sun, um, don't like fragrance. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go ahead and I decided to go with the Milani lip balm. To be honest with you guys, I'm not really loving it. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's not bad, but it's definitely not my favorite. And I guess it does the job, but it definitely does not have any exceeding, you know, remarkability to it. I don't know. I'm just not really impressed, but I definitely let my skin dry. I gave it like maybe five to ten minutes before I applied the serum. And um, about the serum, I think I told you guys already that I got samples of it. I got so many samples because I am a healthcare worker and um, a lot of companies were sending us things and so um, this is what I picked up, and here I do my dance. Here I go doing my dance. <laughs> um, I feel like sometimes I just can't talk when I'm doing voiceovers, but okay. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Clinique. This is, I believe, a new product that they came out with. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. But I got a sample size, and this is the Clinique Even Better Serum Foundation, and I am using the shade neutral in case you guys are wondering I believe this does oxidize I saw some oxidization as soon as I put it on and I think it's actually a great color and I know I don't like doing first impressions you guys but I really 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 like this serum I like how lightweight it is but at the same time you see coverage like if you want something more long like a lightweight I guess you could say like a tinted foundation this would be it but I know usually with tinted foundations it almost feels like a sunscreen in a way this feels like a serum like a really nice tinted serum and then I'm just using my um, I believe this is the bliss foundation brush I really like it because it has more of like it's kind of dense but kind of not so it just works perfect with blending out or buffing out foundation and then, of course, for this look, because it is a luminous look, I picked up my L'Oreal Lumi Foundation. And I'm mixing in my L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Summer Express Wash Off Face Bronzer Cream in the shade Medium. I love mixing these two. You know, regardless of whether I'm doing a look or not, I just love mixing that. And then because this is a, like I said, a luminous uh, makeup look, I decided to also add the um, Becca. It's the backlight priming filter. And I just mix those on the back of my hand and basically just dab the brush um, onto the back of my hand just to pick up product and then apply it to my face. I've been doing this for years, you guys, and sometimes I'll go directly onto the face with the product and sometimes not just kind of depends on like how I'm feeling I guess I don't know <laughs> today I felt like putting it on the back of the hand but yeah um, and then of course I don't know like my skin is so sensitive it's itchy sometimes and so that's why I try really hard to be careful and pat it instead of scratching um, okay and then um, one of the things that she did in her makeup look was she applied this bronzer, right? And it reminded me of this Wet n Wild cushion foundation, right? <laughs> it was more about the, the texture of the product. And I couldn't find anything that I had in my collection, but this was like the closest thing. So what I decided to do was take this cushion. It's the Mega Cushion Foundation by Wet n Wild. This is a shade Buff Beige. It's supposed to be a medium warm, is how it's described took it, applied it to the back of my hand, and then, you guys, I took this Rimmel London Breathable, it's actually supposed to be a concealer, but I use it as a, um, to contour, but I mixed, I mixed the cushion foundation 
with the concealer and this is the shade 600 for the um, lasting finish breathable concealer just mix the two together and just added it to my face to give me more of a I guess you can say contour bronzing effect and then for some actual bronzing I'm taking my butter bronzer by um, physicians formula and just applying it to the temples, cheekbones, and then also like the jawline area, chin, pretty much where she applied it. Um, since I am utilizing, you know, her um, routine method of how she applies makeup or how she applied it in that video, which by the way, she looked beautiful. And every now and then I'll slow it down for you guys so you guys can see what I'm using or I'll freeze it on certain clips so you guys can see the products. Next up, I'm working on my eyes. So, for the eyes, you guys. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry about that background noise. Uh -huh, that was the keyboard typing, just in case. Just in case, I don't know where your minds are going, but... <laughs> Um, I'm taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Rockstar and I'm just pretty much applying it to the top of my eye and then also underneath my eye as well. Not on the waterline, but underneath. And then I'm going to smudge it out if I already have not. Um, because in her makeup look, she I guess she used like a liquid eyeshadow and it was described as like a gray, brown, purple. It was really, really pretty. It was just so basic but just beautiful basic because basic isn't always bad so um, which by the way this was my first time trying rockstar rockstar the shade rockstar by urban decay and it was so beautiful i'm like wow i need to i need to expand my horizon a little more okay for mascara she used a lengthening mascara so i decided to go in with my estee lauder estee lauder <laughs> I can't talk. Um, the Edgiest Mascara by the Estee Edit line within their brand. Love it, by the way. Okay, I'm taking the Wet n Wild. It is the contour end um, from their dual ended contour. And I'm just taking the contour line and I'm mixing it with my Ofra Cosmetics Dermatones Concealer Wheel. And I'm just taking the two... Um, uh, contour shades and I'm mixing them together and just applying it to my eyelids because that's what she had did in her video. I went with the um, those specific shades because she uses a lot of cool tones is what I noticed. And then for lips, I did go ahead and apply my Lorac um, centerfold. On top of that, I went in with my Butter London Lippy in, um, what is it called? Tea with the Queen. And then on top of that, <laughs> um, I applied my Butter London um, Hot Toddy. Okay, so that is the complete makeup look. And I actually think it looks really nice. I will say mine probably looks a little different just because our skincare is very different. Um, she has a flawless, very beautiful, healthy, luminous radiant looking skin. I have very textured, dry, problematic skin. Um, so definitely make sure you wear your sunscreen because a lot of my issues are from sun damage. But I think, even though I didn't use the same exact products, I still think that her routine is pretty dope. I like it. <laughs> I think it looks really, really good. It's super luminous. Can you guys see? I'm like, ooh, I like healthy. But I like the makeup look too. Uh, very simple. Um, and of course, uh, if it weren't for filming, it would probably take me like five minutes to put this look together. But definitely in pictures, I did notice that it looks very, very beautiful. So, um, the last thing she did was she finessed it by putting some, um, I don't know if it was like hairspray or what, but I have 
this Plump for Joy. It's uh, not your mother's. That's the brand name. And it's just some dry shampoo. And she just kind of, you know, work the hair a little bit. This piece does not want to stay down. But what do you guys think? I like it. I love it. Oh my god. She's so right too about the eyes. Um, the eyeliner, she just put, you know, eyeliner on top, like, um, and then not on the waterline, but underneath. And that really did make the eyes look so much more bigger. I mean, I don't have, you know, decent size <laughs> eyes, but after that eyeliner trick whoa Martha but um, yeah this is the complete look I like it I definitely would wear this well I mean I would I so wear this routine it looks so good so there you have it I hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you already haven't what are you waiting for and then um, stay tuned for the next get the look you never know who I'll do today's Martha next week might be you just never know I want to surprise you guys every time so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next episode bye guys Mwah.